welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side so today's problem is g maximum sum in the configuration what does the problem say the problem says that you have been given an array array is 8312 8 3 1 2 now you have to find me the maximum sum possible the maximum sum possible maximum sum of what type you have to find me the current sum is defined as i into a of i i into a of i where i is the index based on zero base indexing based on zero base indexing so this is zero index zero index one index two index three so current sum is zero into eight plus one into three plus two into one plus three into two right so my current sum is zero plus three plus two plus six which is equals to 11 which is equals to 11 now i have the provision to rotate the array i can rotate the array i can rotate the array in either direction i want in either direction so i can rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise let us try to rotate it anti-clockwise right so anti-clockwise rotation will give me firstly 3 1 2 8 which will give me the sum of 29 then 1 2 8 3 which will give me the sum of 27 then 2 8 3 1 which will give me the sum of 17 8 3 1 2 11 so we can see that out of all these configurations, you can see that all the configurations of the rotation have been formed because if I will rotate 8312 again in the anti-clockwise direction, it will give me 3128. There is no other configuration present for this array. You can see all the configurations are made and the corresponding sums are with us. So maximum among these sums is 29. So I will be turning 29 as my output. So I hope that is clear to you. 29 is my output here. So how will we solve this problem? How will we solve this problem? So the brute force method is provided by the explanation itself. What we will do? We will check out all the check out all the configuration. How will you do so? How will you do so? Okay, so you have your input array as 8, 3, 1, 2. Your current index is a 0, 1, 2, 3. So my first loop will go from 0 to 3. My first loop will go from 0 to 3 and calculate the sum. Right? Let us say sum 0. Then afterwards, now my new index should be if I rotate it anti clockwise. So you can see if I rotate the array anti clockwise, 3 is my first element. That is my index 0 shifts here. 0, 1, 2, 3 is my new configuration, right? So what will I do? I will start from here and I will go until and unless it comes back to 8. Then I will go from 1 until and unless it comes back to 3. Then I will go from 2 until and unless it comes back to 2, right? These will give me all my configuration. This will give me all my configuration. I can calculate the sum and I have my answer as the maximum sum. But the time complexity in this case will be n square, O of n square. Why? Because I'm exploring all the points as starting point. I am exploring all the points as starting point and I'm traversing the array again and again and again for all the n positions, right? So it will take my O of n square time complexity. I'm not writing down the code for the brute force because I'm really short of time today. So let us go to the optimized approach right now. Okay. So optimize approach. Optimize approach. What will I do? So I have 8312. 8312. One thing I'm clear with is that I want to check out all the configurations. Okay. So what is the next configuration? It is 3, 1, 2, 8. Right? The next configuration says 3, 1, 2, 8. Let me mark the indexes. So index number 0, 1, 2, 3. Index number 0, 1, 2, 3. Let me name it as sum A and let me name it as sum B. What is sum A here? So sum A is uh, 0 into 8 plus 1 into 3 plus 1 in, or 2 into 1, 2 into 1 plus 3 into 2, correct? And what is sum B here? So in the case of 3, it is 0 into 3 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 3 into 8 plus 3 into 8. Can I develop a relationship between A and B? I want to develop a relation develop a relation between a and b between a and b what can i say i can say that if i say b minus a what will that be b minus a will be 3 minus 0 into 8 plus 0 minus 1 into 3 plus 1 minus 2 into 1 plus 2 minus 3 into 2 right which can be written as if i say it it can be written as 3 into 8 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 all have a common factor because this will give me minus 1 this will give me minus 1 this will give me minus 1 so into minus 1 right so you can see 3 plus 1 plus 2 3 done 1 done 2 done if i want to include 8 in it so it will become like 3 into 8 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 8 
into minus 1 and because I subtracted 8, I will have to add 8 here. Okay, so it will be 4 into 8 plus if I say the current sum that if the sum of all the elements, sum of all the elements, let us name it as S, it will be sum into minus 1. It will be sum into minus 1. So it is equal to length multiplied by A of I minus 1. What is I here? I is my first element. So 3. Right? In the original configuration, what is if I is at 1, what is A of I minus 1? It is 8. So it is A of I minus 1 plus, sorry, not my, it will be minus. So minus sum, minus sum of all the elements, minus sum of all the elements is equals to B minus A. So B equals to A plus length of, length into A of I minus sum. I will be using that. I will be using that. So what will I do? I will first create an answer to store the answer of the maximum value obtained up till now. So answer equals to 0. Sum like S it will contain all the sum elements. All the elements sum. Right. That is simple sigma of AI. And now I will say my initial value for the given configuration is equals to simple sum. That is I into AI. That is easier to calculate using an O of an N loop. Right. Now answer equals to maximum of existing answer with initial value. Now what will I do? I will say for now because I have checked the configuration of i starting from here my like, like my i equal to 0 I will be starting from i equals to 1. So for i equals to 1 now elements the first last element also become first element. So up till i equals to n minus 1 what will I do? My new value my new value is equals to a of i minus 1 multiplied by length plus sum sorry not plus it will be minus minus sum plus the previous sum which is equals to initial which is equals to initial right after that update your answer so answer equals to maximum of existing answer with new value with new value and now you can update your initial so initial will be equals to new value for the next iteration for the next iteration that is all you have to do in the problem and you can just simply read on your answer and now you can see the time complexity is also o of n because i'm not using any extra loop inside my outer loop okay so it's time for us to see the code so let us move there let us start coding it down so long long current sum that is equals sorry simple sum equals to zero right now so what will i do for long long i going from zero i up till n i plus plus what will i do i will say sum plus equals to a of i this is my simple sum now I will say initial value long long initial equals to 0 and same time I will say maximum equals to 0 let us say it maxi or let us say it maximum only right now for long long i equals to 0 I will go up till n i plus plus right what will I do I will say initial plus e initial plus equals to a of i initial plus equals to a of i and now after this loop, I can say maximum equals to initial, initial, right? Now, what will I do? I will say for long, long, I, let me, yeah, for long, long, I, it will be a space here for long, long, I, going from one now up till n, I plus plus, what will happen? My long, long next, my long, long next will be equals to initial minus sum minus A of I minus one plus length minus 1 n minus 1 multiplied by a of i minus 1 let me yeah, let me shift it a of i minus 1 multiplied by 1 ll multiplied by 1 ll why 1 ll to convert it into long before overflow but before overflow and now i can say my new initial will be equal to next and i can just update my answer so if answer is less than uh, in uh, if answer is less than initial in that case, what will you do? You will say answer equals to initial. Right? Because we changed initial only, right? Because we changed initial only before. Now I can simply return my answer, right? Let us try to compile and run it. Hope it will work fine. It should not give, you any, give any error. In the meantime, do consider subscribing to my channel. Oh, there has been some mistake. Initial was not declared. Initial, oh, the so spelling of initial is wrong here. Let us try to compile and run it again. It should work fine, I guess, this time. So as you can see, it is running fine. Let us try it for submit also as well. It should run fine, I guess. Should not give any error. Oh, okay, it is running fine. And thank you for watching. We'll meet again tomorrow. Till then, 
Stay tuned and keep coding. Thank you. Have a nice day.